What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Welcome, welcome if you are brand new. Today we are finally doing another pregnancy update and I'm going to tell you guys about our gender reveal. So if you want to hear more about that, stick around. It's a them program. So currently I am 20 weeks pregnant, five months, and we found out the gender of our little one last week. So I'll tell you guys how that happened in a bit. Um, but first, just a little bit, a, a little of an update of how I'm feeling, how things are going. Um, I'm still feeling really good. I have lots of energy um, on, on that front. Nothing has really changed. I'm definitely very puffy and I'm feeling that water retention like my wedding ring barely fits I put it on the other day and could barely get off so I think I personally have to focus on getting in more water I've been getting about three liters a day and I think that's just not enough at all I've been sucking at that so I need to work on that I'm getting just like puffier I can feel it and I really I'm feeling the swelling when I'm sleeping, so it doesn't matter how loose the clothes that I'm wearing. When I go to bed, when I wake up, I have like huge imprints from them and it's very painful and uncomfortable, so gotta work on that. If you guys got any tips, I know some of you um, gave me some tea recipes, so I'm definitely gonna make those this week um, and try that out. And I'm also feeling very dry as well, so I'm noticing like my lips, my skin, everything, so um, face oils and body oil and body lotion and all that have been just my very best friends. I'm just lotioning up my body as much as humanly possible. Um, I definitely feel the growth now. Um, and I can see the belly fully in the morning, not just in the evening after I eat. Like, it's fully, like, everything's expanding. I feel like my legs, my arms, my chest is, like, I, there's no bra to fit. That's just not a thing anymore. Um, and then my belly is definitely growing, but I kind of like it because it actually looks pregnant now. Um, I am feeling baby move all, all the time. Um, like, kicking, kicking like crazy. And when dad puts his hand on there, baby's going insane. So I'm like, okay, okay, baby recognizes, recognizes dad, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's a really, like, surreal feeling, I think. I mean, people describe it as, like, popcorn or butterflies in your tummy and yeah it feels like that but I think just the feeling itself is indescribable to feel like a human being inside you is just it's still this whole experience is still mind-blowing to me so I'm just five months in I'm still getting used to it um but it is really cool really awesome um I think that's like I don't know what else I'm not really craving things I'm definitely eating more my appetite has like increased for sure. Um, I'm just trying to like be very cautious of keeping a balance of things I want to eat and a balance of things that I know I should be eating. Lots of fruits, lots of veggies, things that are going to help baby grow into a healthy, healthy, healthy little child. So um, I'm focusing on getting my protein in because I don't eat meat, but I did go to the farmer's market and I got a bunch of meat substitutions. So it's been super easy way better. Um, so that's been good. And basically, like, I just, I don't know, I, I still feel pretty good. I think the only thing is my sleep is a little disrupted from the swelling. And sometimes I wake up like just super early for no reason. I'm totally not a morning person. Um, but I've been using the mornings as a way to kind of like have time to myself and just have my coffee and sit with the doggy. So that's, it's been good. I'm continuing to read my books, um, which are very, I feel like the books that the midwives chose are very I mean, they're midwife appropriate, but they're very good in the sense of like, they're making me feel very empowered and calm and I don't feel stressed or scared. And I think that's like a key thing to pregnancy and to labor is not being afraid because it, going into any situation afraid, you're going to be afraid. That's how it is. So going into it with a more of an open mind or more of a relaxed mind, even if, you know, a situation comes up where you have to be afraid, it's, it's easier if you're not already going and riding that fear adrenaline. So that's kind of how the midwife explained it to me. That's definitely my vision on it. We did have an appointment with our midwife and Marcus came this time and it was so much better. And I like, I feel a thousand times better going with him because he is like a chatterbox and he asks questions and it just made it so much easier that I could just like listen and everything she was saying was so in line 
with how I felt and how I want to have this entire experience. And even at the end of it, I asked, you know, don't you want to weigh me? And she's like, no, you eat healthy, you exercise all the time. She's like, I'm not concerned about the number on the scale with you. I'm concerned that you're healthy and you're taking care of this baby, which was like mind blowing to me. Um, so I think that like really solidified it in my books. And I know a couple of you guys had, have had questions about it, so I'll quickly go over the whole midwife thing. So I am in Canada, Calgary, Alberta. No, we don't pay for midwives here. It's not like a doula. Um, it's an actual like medical person. Um, so you don't pay for it. You apply for it. My mother-in-law um, was a labor and delivery nurse for 40 years, so she connected us to this midwife that also worked with her. So that's how we got into into getting a midwife. Um, I have two midwives, midwives and they're, they work together and they work as a team. They're with me throughout the entire experience. Those are the only people that I see. I don't see a doctor, I just see them. And then they're with me for five weeks after baby comes as well to help me breastfeed and adjust, which is just incredible. Um, the entire experience is just much more relaxing. Like you don't go to the doctors every single time you go to their midwife house. Like I sit on a bed, a real bed. Like it's the experience is just way better for me for being such an anxious person. And my one midwife was labor and delivery nurse for years and probably a little older than I've been alive. Um, and then she switched into midwifery because she preferred this route. And then the other one was an emergency paramedic, I think she said for like 20 something years. And then she's been a midwife for seven years. So on Marcus's side, the medical side, he's very happy because <laughs> he has those in case emergency type of people. They're the ones who deliver my baby. And on my side, I get to have a little bit more of like a choice experience, which I personally wanted. Um, so I know sometimes if you don't know what a midwife is and you hear about it and you're like, oh my God, this like hippy dippy person's gonna deliver your baby. No, it's nothing like that. Um, they're very experienced, very educated, and I'm really excited about it. So far, it's been like a game changer from having a doctor. So I'm very thankful that we were able to get in. So that's how that's been going. Um, yeah, so anyways, so last week on Tuesday, we had our appointment to go to the ultrasound to get our, to find out the sex of the baby. So we had kind of gone with the intention that we're gonna go and they're gonna put um, the gender in the envelope and then we're gonna take it maybe to like create cupcakes and get them to put filling in or icing, um, the color of the baby and then something along those lines. So we went there that day and they were pretty good, like we didn't, I just had a feeling that it was a girl during that appointment. Up to that point, I thought it was a boy this the absolute entire time. Marcus was 10 out of 10 convinced it was a boy. Everybody around us other than my mom thought it was a boy. And so during the appointment, I just like, I just had a feeling that it wasn't, I didn't see anything. Like there was nothing for us to see. They were looking at like, they were counting every single finger, every single toe. They were like really zoomed in in detail. So there wasn't really anything for us to see anyways. Um, we did see baby eventually at the end, like a full picture, and baby is so much bigger, which is so crazy. Um, but anyway, so they gave us a little envelope. We went and we're driving, and Marcus is like, you know what? I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it right now. You're gonna wanna know right away. I wanna know right now. He was like, I wanna open this envelope right now. I can't wait. How are we holding this? And we haven't opened it yet. So we were driving and we're like, okay, they're probably not gonna do it for us. They probably need 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. And so one of my clients suggested that you go to a store and you pick out two outfits, one boy, one girl, and you give them a box and then the clerk puts it in there for you and then you open it. So we're like, okay, that's a great idea. We were next to Market Mall. So we're like, let's go to Market Mall and we'll do this. And so when we were going there, we're like, you know, let's do shoes. That's totally like, that's more us. Let's do like some kind of fitness shoes, like a little Jordan or a Converse. And so we went into Foot Locker and Marcus was like, watch, it's gonna be some 16 year old kid that's gonna ruin it for us. Da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, it's gonna be fine, calm down. So I had my box in and we, we went in and we found this girl to help us. Yes, she was super young. Um, and basically they had little blue boy Converse and pink Adidas or white Adidas with the pink stripes. So we were like, okay, put one in the box, here's the card, go in the back, do it. The prices were different and Marcus had seen the prices. So he was like, I'm gonna go wait outside and you pay for it. You don't know the difference between the price, it won't make any difference to you. So she comes out, she has the box and she's like, is like, are you the one that's pregnant? I'm like, yeah, it's my baby. She's like, oh my God, congratulations. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. She was super sweet, like super excited. And she's ringing me through and everything is fine. And like, we're almost out the door. She literally changed the box. I didn't see anything. And then she says, so when is she due? And I'm like, what? When is she due? 
She, it's a girl and she's sitting there with the, like her face went ghost white. It looked like this poor girl saw a ghost and she's just sitting there and she's like, <gasps> I'm like, I'm having a girl. And so I found out before Marcus did and this poor girl, like literally she turns bright red, tears are in her eyes. I'm pretty sure she's gonna start bawling and I'm panicking because I don't want this kid to cry. And I'm like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like, I'll pretend, I'll tell Marcus that I don't. No, we'll, we'll act surprised, it's fine, just calm down. Um, I'm like, we totally thought it was a boy and we were really rooting for a girl so this is a wonderful surprise. And so she like gives me a hug which I really wish that I had taken a photo with this girl because I feel like, I mean, I will never forget her face in my brain. Ever. like she is imprinted in my head um, and I was so excited that I genuinely didn't care that she ruined it for me it was such like I was so thrown that it was a great surprise so I'm walking at the store carrying this box trying to act cool and Marcus was like you know she told you you saw the box you saw the shoes and I'm like I didn't see the shoes but she did tell me so I'm like walking outside the door Mark and Wall crying with excitement, like literally shaking. I have this huge smile, my cheeks hurt. And we're walking to the car and I'm like, hey, we're just gonna drive home and then you can do your reveal. And Marcus was like, I am, I'm not waiting till we get home. I need to know right now. So we went in the car and we counted to three and he opened the box and before he opened it, he was like, it's a boy, it's for sure a boy. And he opened it and saw those pink shoes and I literally have never seen him so surprised were so happy in my entire life. It was the most incredible experience. And so the control freak me who had like everything planned out, how we were gonna find out, honestly, Ian Marcus says this, he's like, I'm so glad you found out this way because nobody else could have surprised you like that. And it was such a genuine reaction on my part. And then I also got to see his reaction instead of like being in my own world when I found out, which was kind of incredible because seeing how excited he was was just freaking amazing. So yeah, the girl at the Foot Locker store, if she ever watches this video, shout out to you. It's cool, I hope you didn't lose any sleep over this, but we have quite the story to tell. Um, so that's how we found out, and then we went and we showed my parents the shoes, and we FaceTimed Marcus's family, and his brother who doesn't live here, and we did the shoe thing, and everybody was pretty excited because Marcus has three brothers, so they all thought that we were gonna have a boy. Um, so it was a great experience. My girlfriends came over for brunch on Sunday and then they found out we did do the cupcakes. I finally got my cupcakes. They did the cupcakes. My sister and I made them and cake pops for them on Sunday. They found out and we got right into baby red nose because again, obviously me, not we, poor Marcus. Um, and I wanted like a little chandelier for baby's room and Steve came over yesterday and we went to the store and we picked one out and he installed it and Marcus has already started painting the room. I have two colors picked out um, and I'm gonna show you guys the entire room once it's ready. I'm so freaking excited. I've been Pinteresting so much. I need, I need to calm down a little. I'm going crib shopping with my mama next week because that's what, something she wants to be a part of. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm feeling good, honestly. Otherwise, everything is knock on wood, a going to plan. I'm growing. It's really interesting how much I'm growing, but baby girl is kicking all the time and I'm just feeling good and excited. And now that like we said that for the second one, we wouldn't find out. And I don't think that that's going to happen because the connection now is so real now that I know. And it's not that it's a girl, it's that it's that I have a gender and I can associate it with my child and I can say, she's doing this and she, you know, this is how I feel her and it's just, it completely has changed the experience for me. It's made it so, 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 so real. So halfway, 20 weeks, um, I'm gonna insert like a little video for you guys that my mom took some photos of Marcus and I and then just some things from my gender reveal from this weekend. Other than that, that's about all I have to say for this update. Um, yeah, basically my faves right now at 20 weeks of pregnancy are face oil, lip chap, body oil, and spray tans. That's, that's what's getting me through because the spray tan, shout out to the spray tan people. I know this video is really light, but I am actually tanned, I swear. That, I don't know, all those like little bumps and lumps and things that come with pregnancy, they're just smooth from spray tan. You look all even and I'm feeling it and I'm loving it, it makes me feel good. So anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and following this entire journey. Marcus and I are both so thankful for all your love and support and excitement and I can't wait to share with you the rest of this journey in baby's room once it's ready and everything and anything in between. So thank you guys again 
for your love, for your support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments below, anything you want to share with me, your baby experience, questions, etc. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.